New at six for the first time, Sacramento police are going on the record about a major staffing shortage that's leading them to automate a portion of the service they provide in the capital city. Instead of officers actually showing up when you call 911, depending on the crime, you might actually just get a text message instead. And then I looked and there was a guy in the car. And then I stopped and I was like, no, please don't do this. Day in and day out. And then, and then I walked around to try to get in the car and he took off and he kind of drugged me. The calls keep coming. 911. Hey, uh, there's a woman waving a gun around. She's spouting gibberish. And uh, there's a homeless person, or what I believe to be a homeless person, uh, waving a pistol. Since the pandemic, one thing is certain. A particular challenge is only growing here in the capital city. Uh, you know, in law enforcement, we've had some staffing challenges, right? Uh, it's no secret that uh, not only law enforcement, but uh, other professions have had staffing challenges uh, coming out of COVID. Just how big is the challenge? Look at the numbers. The Sacramento Police Department has 755 allotted positions. With 688 of those positions currently occupied, that leaves 67 vacant positions. And it's not just police. There's a dispatcher shortage as well. Despite having 95 allotted positions, only 68 of those positions are occupied with 27 vacancies. And so, um, really using spider tech is another way for us to kind of alleviate some of those staffing challenges and particularly in our communications division. What's spider tech? According to their website, they're an automated customer service platform for public safety. So instead of following up with a dispatcher or sometimes even an actual officer, so-called spider tech would send you a text message instead. For some of those lower level calls that we want to get to, we use our system to send a text message to the, the community member that's calling in and let them know how long it's gonna take us to get there. But again, technology can only go so far. Jamelia Land is co-founder of the Anti-Violence Safety and Accountability Project. I think that it is a complicated idea, to say the least. Um, it depends on the type of crimes that people are calling and reporting. Well, keep in mind, police tell me violent crimes in progress get priority and officers will be dispatched to the incident. Other crimes such as assault cases that aren't actively underway, collision, theft and burglary calls might receive a follow up text after your initial 911 call. For example, you might receive this text for burglary. It says, please compile a list of items you believe were stolen prior to the arrival of the officer, as long as you can do so without disturbing areas of potential evidence, such as fingerprints, shoe prints, or shoe tracks, any areas of forced entry or similar. We strive to provide our community members with excellent service. We are unable to provide you with an estimated time of an officer's response, but we'll do our best to be timely. That's problematic because you are now asking the everyday citizen to be a crime scene investigator, which they are not adequately trained to be able to do. And I also think that we should consider police accountability. There's a lot of potential for harm. Um, number one, um, we are removing the human element. That's why police stress once officers do respond, the text message provides a link to offer feedback on your experience. And I have to say, you're asking people to keep it real, right? You want the good, yeah. the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, we want people to keep it real with us. We want to hear the positive. We want to hear the negative. You know, we're not gonna we're not gonna discount any of it. We're taking all of it in. In a growing city with growing staffing challenges, it's yet another way technology is replacing human interaction. But police insist spider tech could be a game changer. But sometimes people aren't happy with the service that we provide. You know, we take those very seriously and it's another avenue for us to be able to improve the performance of our officers. Now, the other big question, what's the price tag for the service? Police tell me this spider tech service costs about $150,000 a year. I'm told it's just one of the ways the department is working to tackle the staffing challenges.